Hi, my name is Dr. Michael Hausman, and I'm a workforce scientist. One of the things that I often tell people is that before you start analyzing data, it's incredibly important to ensure that you're measuring properly and using the right methodology. Otherwise, you may end up generating spurious conclusions. There's a very simple but powerful historical example that illustrates why this is the case. During World War II, the British were losing a lot of their bombers over Germany, so they decided to add armor to their planes. Now, the armor was heavy and expensive, so they decided that they'd only add it to the parts of the plane that were most critical. Luckily, when planes returned from their bombing runs, they kept meticulous records of where they had been shot. So they were able to take all of these diagrams and superimpose them in order to get a good sense of where the planes were being hit by German anti-aircraft fire. When they did this, there was a very clear picture that emerged. The planes had holes in the wings, the nose, and the tail. So they decided that they would add more armor there. Before they did, however, they brought in an Austrian economist named Abraham Wald, who took one look at the data and said that this is the exact opposite thing that you want to do. The planes they used to generate the diagrams were the planes that had returned from their bombing runs. So the planes that had been shot down were being shot in the two areas that did not have any holes, the body and the rudder. The British added armor to those two areas instead, and thousands of British lives were saved. This is a classic econometric example illustrating the importance of identifying and controlling for selection bias, but there's a broader point to be made. It's critically important to ensure that you're using the right methodology to measure, or you may end up arriving at the exact opposite conclusion.